In a world dominated by the internet and social media, where access to information is almost instantaneous simply by pulling out the smartphone in our pocket, teaching students to think critically about the media and the information that they consume and share is vitally important. Media literacy education can start in the classroom, even as early as elementary school. The principles can be applied to almost any content area and can be taught by all teachers with support and resources they can find in their own school building or district. Talking with some educators, um, just in general, um, at South and, you know, I've worked K through 12 now, so talking with all of them, I feel like they do not know how or do not feel comfortable integrating it into their lesson. Letting them know that you're there to partner with them, to support them, and team teach also, you know, breaks down those barriers and helps people feel more comfortable. With the support of resources in your district, there are many interesting, innovative, and fun ways to tackle the concept of media literacy in your content area. First, let's talk about why media literacy is important to talk about in the classroom. According to the National Association for Media Literacy Education, a media literate person is defined as one who possesses the ability to access, analyze, evaluate, create, and act using all forms of communication. Media literacy is not restricted to one medium and is understood as a set of competencies that are essential for work, life, and citizenship. Media literacy helps students become wiser consumers of media, as well as responsible producers of their own media. Media literacy is important because it does provide a variety of different kinds of skills that you can use across your lifetime. Media literacy actually has its roots in English language arts. And so if we think about all the different types of skills and the different types of information that can be shared through media literacy, it actually goes across the curriculum. It is so very important to teach media literacy um, because of everything that's been coming in, starting from a few years ago with the idea of fake news and everything that's been happening in our culture and our society, the idea that a lot of people, not just students, but people in general, scroll through social media and think that whatever's on social media is the gospel. So it's extremely important to teach students, um, to teach everyone truthfully, to not take that as gospel and to go back and find your source. But Young doesn't think simply talking about the subject is enough. To teach the concept of media literacy, it's all about hands-on experience. Bloom's taxonomy and Maslow's hierarchy of needs, all the things we learn about in education and our undergrad programs all say that kinesthetic learning is what helps students learn the best and get it ingrained into their head. Um, so the hands-on approach of having students go into their own lives and research what they're seeing um, really helps connect the idea of media literacy. Young has developed a range of media and information literacy hands-on activities to help teach the concept. One activity is randomly selecting a social media post and working through how to evaluate it with students. And we look at posts from CNN. Um, we look at posts from some of these other people who are content creators and I have them read the post and then we do either um, a pair deck, which is a slide deck where students can put in anonymously their um, answers, um, or we do a Kahoot game later to kind of solidify that information. Again, more game, more practice. Young turns other lessons into games, which she finds keeps the students engaged and have a long-term impact. One of them requires students to go on a scavenger hunt through the library to find QR codes linking them to digital media. And they have to decide, is it good? You know, are we looking at a picture? Is it pixelated? Is it clearly photoshopped? And you know, it's really popular right now to do music mashups. The question arises all the time, does someone have the right to take another person's song and sing it and mash it up with another one or with their own work? So we talk a lot about that and how that works with music nowadays, especially streaming. Librarians and technology experts in many school districts are anxious to help teachers build media literacy lessons into almost any content area. Teachers don't have to figure this out alone. Librarians and technology experts want to help teachers like this. We are 
clamoring to help in any way, shape, or form that we can. Media literacy is vitally important to introduce into the K-12 classroom. By using librarians or technology experts in your district for support, educators can find engaging and innovative ways to integrate the topic into almost any content area or class project while meeting many state and national content standards. To learn more about the PBS Media Literacy Educator Certification course offered for teachers in Ohio, visit this website.